Hi everyone, my name is Elliot from Elliot's Music Academy and I just wanted to do a quick tutorial for everyone at home to know how to use our new homework workbooks. So um, you would have received them uh, at your first lesson. Uh, they're very easy for us all to be using and following along with. There's a bit of a welcome page about EMA. There's some playing tips. Um, this page teaches you how to use the practice book. Um, we have some class expectations we've laid out. Uh, there's a songs you'd like to learn page. So as you think of songs that you wanna learn throughout the year, you can add them here so you don't forget them, which is really, really helpful. Every term you'll be setting goals with your teachers. So this is great to keep track of what you wanna to work towards, whether it's performances, um, productions at school, auditions, exams, writing a song, entering competitions, all sorts, this is where you'd put them. We've also covered what SMART goals are. Um, then every week your teacher will fill out a lesson review page. So it'll be like today we worked on, the homework for the week is, your weekly challenge. They'll also check it the following week to see if you've completed your weekly challenge. Then you get to log the days that you've practiced and what you worked on. Parents, this is uh, your parent comment box, which is a great opportunity for you to jot anything down that you may have questions about during the week, you might wanna ask the teacher about. Um, this just makes sure or ensures that you don't forget that. So you can jot that down there. Um, we're aiming for four to five days a week of practice. So once that is completed, um, parents can sign off on students and then um, the teacher the following week will check this, they'll make any comments, and they'll also give um, students a star rating. So that's pretty cool. Um, this book lasts the entire year, so it covers four terms. At the end of a term, we talk about term accomplishments. So it'll be like songs we've learned, uh, interesting facts you may have learned, the goals that you've achieved, and it also has a box for any tutor's comments. Um, so that's really cool and then at the end of the book you've got your yearly goals so you can keep track of what your yearly goals may be um, also a set list so we do have jam nights and regular performance opportunities for students so as you complete your songs add them to your set list because this is a great reference point for when end of year concerts come up um, when jam nights come up or if you have a performance opportunity at school um, this is just a great place to keep everything um, so you can refer back to, you know, songs that you've completed. Um, then there's also some manuscript paper. And at the back of the book, we have our playlist book. So the playlist book is where we add all the songs that you're learning or exercises that you might be practicing, rudiments, whatever. And then it lasts you the entire month. So you'll be ticking when you're practicing. So this is a great tool to keep track of, again, all your songs, all your exercises. So you can visually see, oh, actually, I haven't practiced that rudiment in a while or I haven't practiced that song in a while. Maybe I'll do a refresh. And then throughout the month, you get to tick the days of the week that you've practiced. Again, we're aiming for four to five days per week. Um, you write the month on the top. Again, there's 12 months. Um, worth of playlist books for you to follow. So that's the playlist book and then we've got a bit of notepad at the back for anything special. So yeah, these are your homework books. We hope you enjoy. If you have any questions, you can chat with us in the office or you can talk to your teacher during class time. Enjoy!